Hey there, this is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, right, this is a, a sort of a follow-up video from my last video um, where I was talking about um, some bits and bobs that I was doing in virtual reality and combining it with stuff I'm doing in, here in the real world. Um, and I had a comment which sort of prompted me to make this video. It's sort of like an explanation video. Um, and I'll read the comment out and you'll understand why. So this is from Tom Servo. Thank you, Tom, for the comment. Um, and it just says, I have to say, I really don't get any of this. What exactly is this VR world? Um, something in a computer program? Um, how do you make something like that? And what exactly is it? Um, so do you build some fantasy world in a computer program and people join it? Uh, and what does this have to do with all that equipment, which he's referring to my DJ setup? Um, I'm really lost. Uh, and the laser light stage, uh, sorry, and is the laser light stage a required part of the world building? Right, so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna basically talk you through um, all the basics uh, to show you how what I was talking about in the last video actually works. So we'll start off by introducing you to the equipment. So this is a virtual reality headset. Uh, now I've, I've souped it up a little bit, but this is the Oculus Quest 2. And it is pretty much the best gateway into virtual reality that you can get on the market at the moment, simply because uh, of its price. Now this retails at, um, I think it's 299 British pounds. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's probably 399 US dollars um, or somewhere around that. And um, it's all self-contained. You don't need a computer to plug it into uh, and everything um, you need is here. Now, up until now, uh, virtual reality has been, uh, it's not been impossible to get involved with, but it, it, you've had to jump through quite a few hoops to properly get involved with uh, virtual reality. You need a really powerful PC, um, and then you have a headset with usually on a wire that goes into that PC, and the PC has to have a very powerful graphics card because virtual reality is very, very graphics heavy. Now, the beauty of uh, the Oculus 2 is it's got this new state-of-the-art chip in. It's kind of like a brand new chip. It just came out uh, just as they were um, releasing these, uh, and it's called the XR2 chip. Now, that chip is incredibly powerful. I think it was designed for smartphones to take them to the next level, um, and they've actually included this XR2 chip in um, these headsets, which makes them very, very powerful, and hence you no longer need uh, the PC. Now, it's still a little bit limited. Um, you know, if you have a PC headset, um, they're still much more powerful, but uh, this XR2 chip has brought these uh, headset capabilities now to a level that makes them um, sort of reachable to the average consumer now. So this is the start of uh, VR in you know the public domain in a major way and I uh, think from here forward things are only going to improve. So getting back to this one, uh, this one's souped up a little bit. Um, I've added a battery, just sort of jerry-rigged a, uh, a battery pack on there and um, uh, got a lead going into the charging port. Now on their own um, this will do about two hours, it's got a built-in battery um, but if you want more than that you need a, a, an external power source. Now with this battery I can probably get about five hours out of the whole thing. Um, I've also added some um, earphones, little little earbuds um, that obviously go in your ears and a, a new strap. When you, when you buy the Oculus 2 Basic, it just comes with an elastic strap on the back and it's not particularly comfortable. Uh, so I've got this, uh, this halo type um, strap on the top, uh, which just makes it a lot more comfortable. And uh, this, this blue foam padded thing, which just makes it, uh, it you can wear it for much longer uh, periods without having any uh, comfort issues. Now, I'm not sure how basic to go, but essentially this is like a games console, but it's all built in and you've got uh, little eyepieces in there. So you stick it on your head, it goes onto your eyes, and when you're looking in there, you're in a, a virtual world. And uh, it's, I suppose it runs in the same sort of way as a smartphone, whereas you go in, you've got a menu screen, and from that menu screen, you choose an app. 
This runs on apps or games. Um, you choose which one you want and whichever one you choose, that gives you the experience that you want. So I'm gonna pop this on in a minute and we'll film what I'm seeing from inside. Um, but I'm using this, um, this thing called Alt Space. And uh, this is where I've built my world and this is where I'm broadcasting my DJ event from. I should also point out that um, this thing, virtual reality, has uh, pretty much saved my sanity during the lockdown. It's amazing for distraction, but it's also, it's really good for social interaction. And uh, I'm sort of meeting up with my mates most evenings um, on this. And uh, in, at the moment in particular with this Alt Space VR, we're all, um, we've all got into Alt Space VR at the moment and it's really, really quite social. I wonder if there's a especially demo. When, especially, when you, especially when you clip a curb. Yeah, I'm wrenches I'm, it out of your hand. <laughs> I'm too scared to buy driving games like that because uh, I played that. Uh, what was it called? Drive Club on the PS4 VR. Oh, I I could I just sit there and just look at everything because I was amazed at how real it looked. But but anyway, let's uh, pop the headset on and we'll we'll take it from there. Right, before I put this on, I'll just show you the controllers. Uh, these are the controllers that come with it and uh, you just they're nice and comfortable to hold in your hands. Um, you've got grip triggers so you can pick things up. You've also got little triggers at the front. Uh, you've got little joysticks on them uh, for each thumb and then two little buttons and you can express, uh, you can be expressive. These, these little sensors around here, I think they can detect when you're putting your thumbs up and when you're pointing your fingers and things. So you can actually express with your fingers. So let's get the headset on. And I'll see you in there. Okay, so this is my home space in virtual reality. When you put your virtual reality headset on, you, you there are different home environments you can choose from. This is the one I've chosen. And this is kind of like an oldie worldy style Japanese street. Um, I've got a little apartment or a little room up here. I've got a uh, a, a koi pond over there with fish swimming around in it and I've got tatami mats on the floor and uh, lots and lots of wood everywhere it's uh, rather rather pleasant so uh, now this is the interface this is the control um, that uh, allows you to control everything right now my battery is 100% and the battery and the controllers are 70% each uh, so we're good to go now, just like a phone, what you need are some apps. So if I click this button here, these are all the experiences within virtual reality that I can have. And uh, there are some rather good ones in there, some not so good ones in there, and some downright nauseating ones in there. Um, Vader Immortal is particularly good. Um, that is where you, you are, it's like a first person perspective story and uh, you end up interacting with Darth Vader and Stormtroopers and other characters from Star Trek and you're on the Death Star and it's just really cool. Um, actually, no, you're not on the Death Star. You're on a on this very fiery planet and in these, these um, empire-type buildings. It's all quite uh, scary and exciting at the same time. But the one I'm looking at today is Old Space. Now, this is the one that Tom was inquiring about. This is, uh, this is where you socially interact with others and uh, you can host your events and things. And I'll, I'll show you exactly how that's possible. So I've just clicked it. Uh, it'll just take a moment to load up. I'll probably fast forward the video just to save waiting around. There we go. Alt Space VR is the place to go for events, live shows and meetups. Join us and make friends with people from around the world. So it's essentially a social platform. Um, but it's in virtual reality in 3D, and it's very cool. So welcome to Galactic Rescue HQ. Now, this is a world that I've built. We're not going to stay in this world because I've got a better version of it. Uh, so before I do anything, well, let me just have a show you the menu, and you, you can get an idea. But the idea is this is a social hub for events and things. This is a... Uh, church service that's going on. This seems to be the only live event at the moment. Um, this is a live event. What I can do, just um, 
so you get the idea. This is, this is me. Hello, this is my avatar. Now, in order for me to socially interact with other people, you need an avatar. This is mine. And you can make your avatar look however you want. You sort of try to make it look as much like you or, or at least your alter ego as possible. Uh, so this is me. And uh, when I meet up with other people, I often meet uh, Damon and um, Joe in here. Uh, we all have conversations. And the, the beauty of it is you can be quite expressionate. Your, your actual mouth moves as you speak. Uh, so it actually words, it's not doing it here, but it actually, um, the mouth moves like as if you're speaking and it looks like you are speaking. Um, and it's very socially interactable. Um, let's just see if anyone's online. Um, no, Damo's offline, Joe's offline at the moment. Um, but yeah, so you have an avatar. So right now I'm walking around the world with this avatar and, uh, the idea is that you can um, invite others into whatever world is available. This is a world that I built. I'll give you a guided tour of it in a second, um, or, or the better version of it anyway. Um, and this, this is how you, you have live events. Now, what, what I'm going to do is I will just sneak in. There's an event going on at the moment. Um, that's it's a it's a it's a religious thing, but it's the only one that's that's available at the moment. And there are uh, there are nineteen people in the room, so I'm going to just kind of go in there just to give you an idea of um, how people, you know, what a, what a, an actual event looks like. And bear in mind, each individual person or each individual avatar that you see in there is an actual person, either on a PC or in virtual reality. Um, so my microphone is muted, so nobody can hear me. Um, oh, <laughs> I thought that was an entrance. Right, so I'm going to take you to my world that I built. This is the world that I build to host events. And I can invite other people in the form of their avatars to my world. And um, I'm going to be hosting an event possibly at the weekend, um, which is a live DJ, set, DJ session that I recorded yesterday. Um, so here we go. So this is Welcome to Galactic Rescue HQ. Why is it called Galactic Rescue HQ? Well, because it can be anything you want. So I'll show you more in a minute. Uh, caution, this world contains flashing lights and loud music. So there's your warning. Uh, there will be flashing lights in this video and uh, flight is available. So we'll have a little fly around in a minute. So this is the spawn point in the world that I've built. And straight away, you can see um, a video is playing. This is something that's streaming from my computer upstairs uh, from a Microsoft Edge uh, browser, uh, there's a little uh, add-on that you can get and you can stream anything from your computer. Um, so this is my world and it's like a, it started off as a, a Japanese style garden and uh, I've got a big pagoda building, lots of uh, sort of Japanese style uh, architecture and a huge great uh, torii gate there. And um, this uh, evolved into what I now call Galactic uh, Rescue HQ. I wanted to call it International Rescue HQ, but International Rescue was already uh, taken, so I've had to call it Galactic Rescue. And um, it's basically, I, I think I've accidentally invented an anime series where <laughs> you have, um, uh, this is like the HQ of, of a an organization called Galactic Rescue and obviously you have uh, spacefaring heroes that fly these ships and that massive great big mothership up there, a big great big galactic thing hanging in the heavens that can't, uh, can't land because it's too big and uh, this is their headquarters where they hang out and uh, just chill out and enjoy good music and also uh, good food, well I won't say good food but kind of yummy food. Look, we've got 
a pizza parlor, a burger, uh, <laughs> a burger joint and a donut joint here, um, which is uh, quite fun. I, I actually <laughs> I get quite hungry every time I look at this. Um, there's donuts and cakes and things. You can actually pick the cakes up as well, which is really cool. Um, but uh, there's your burger shop and there's your pizza shop and you get hot dogs as well. And, uh, and then you can sit out here and a little hot, hot dog stand there as well. And uh, you can sit out here and eat them. But uh, yeah, you've got um, big ships because, uh, hey, because you can. Th this, is, this is what I love about this world building is you can build whatever world you want um, because y y you know, your imagination, uh, you can just let it run away with you. I mean, my, my intrepid characters here uh, all have wolves as sidekicks. So these wolves, while they're in their headquarters doing whatever it is they do in their headquarters, the wolves are there guarding the ships. How cool is that? <laughs> I'm sure somebody could write an anime series based on this. Um, there we go. Galactic Rescue HQ, live music, sorry, music festival and sci-fi hangout. Live music events coming soon. Feedback, uh, welcome. Uh, here we go, Galactic Rescue HQ, music festival and sci-fi hangout tonight, uplifting trance music, DJ set from DJ Zemmorf. And essentially, let me just get my little flight tool. Uh, you've got a flight tool here. So if I go items, spawn flight tool. Um, so this is great. If you, if you grab it and then pull the trigger, if you go wherever you move uh, with the trigger pulled, you actually... Uh, it, it takes you on a flight. So, and that's Damon pinging me. I just pinged Damon. Let me just have a quick read. Um, uh, he's working at the field. Oh, that's a shame. I, I was going to try to see whether Damon was around. He could uh, he could log on and we could interact and I could film it and you could uh, get a, an idea of how the uh, the social interaction works. Um, but uh, yeah, so I built a main stage. Uh, which is this, and uh, lots of uh, laser lights and flashing lights and everything, doubled up with what you're seeing on the screen. It kind of makes for a little bit of a funky experience. And uh, there's some more ships, more wolves. <laughs> Massive great big ship there with a big screen on the side of it and more lasers. Another big ship hanging in the heavens up there. Uh, more ships and another huge great container type ship there uh, with another screen on the side and essentially I can host events here like I said and uh, let me uh, I think I did I show you uh, this is the second recording I'm making because the first recording um, it things failed so <laughs> this is my second attempt I can't remember whether I showed you my avatar I think I did I think I've, I've mentioned my avatar but yeah essentially you you host events in this virtual world other people come in they can enjoy the music watch the show and uh, so yeah that that's essentially how um, how you host an event in virtual reality uh, you just you register the event uh, and then then it appears on the events page. So if I've got an event going on here, uh, it'll appear here. So like that um, that church event that we just attended. That's that's live. It ends in thirty five minutes. Um, there's another event coming up. Um, so called Pika's Chinese Speaking Group, and that starts in thirty five minutes. There's another one that's live now. Um, that's uh, an alt quiz party. There's only three attending that one. And there's another one later today at 2.30 uh, till midnight. And that's uh, uh, Disney Johnny's 420 Hollow Wake and Bake. And I think that's just a social interaction thing. I think there's um, Cards Against Humanity is the game they play in there. Um, but yeah, there's, there's just all of these events. If you go to all, or oh, sorry, this week, um, there's all sorts of scheduled events. So if I want to schedule an event for, say, the weekend, I can, say, go on Saturday. Um, let's see what other events are scheduled. Um, there are world building for beginners, meditation for chronic pain. There's somebody else got a rave going, um, psychedelic rave. There's uh, Alt Space VR 101, so there's like a training course. And these are all presentations by real people uh, using their avatars interacting with your avatar 
So that's essentially how it works. This is sort of, I know this is very basic information for, for some folks who are already um, used to this, but it sort of didn't really occur to me, but there are, there are some folks out there who may not really understand what any of this is about. And like I say, Tom made that inquiry. He didn't quite grasp um, why I had that equipment in my spare room. And the, the reason why I've got the equipment, the DJ equipment in my spare room is to make videos like this. Now this is um, some f footage I filmed from this world yesterday uh, with the, the DJ session on the screen. But this is what I film in the room. And uh, like I say, I pipe it through into this virtual world. And uh, there's obviously I do different sessions and uh, I, I um, premiere them here, so they're not available anywhere else except in here. Uh, and then I might live stream them on Twitch as well at a later date. And then eventually they'll end up on uh, YouTube once I've got other venues that I've recorded and then I, I can relegate these to YouTube and then the, the new fresh stuff appears here in these virtual worlds. So that's pretty much what it's all about. Um, if you've got any questions, do feel free to leave them below. I'll try to answer them if I can, maybe even make another video if you're interested. Um, I can uh, go visit some other worlds if you want. Um, let's have a look, let's see what else is out there. You may see a little bit of flickering going on. Um, that's a quest thing. Um, I've noticed it, it doesn't happen on the Rift. I've got an Oculus Rift as well that I use for the world building, but. Uh, you can still do it in the quest. In fact, I was going to show you a little bit of world building, wasn't I? So let's, um, I'll show you how easy it is to build worlds. So that flower is looking a bit lonely all on its own. I think it needs a, a friend. So let me build a bit of world here. Now, all of this has come from what they call kits. If I turn on my editor, and uh, you've got this list of kits. Now, Altspace provides some kits, but they're very basic. But there are featured kits. If I click on kits here, now each kit, these are all different kits. Each kit contains uh, different items. Now, I need, some, uh, I need some foliage and flowers and things. So if I go to flowers, there's three pages worth of different types of flowers um, that are available. So I think I'm going to use, I don't know, this spray of flowers here. If I click on it, they appear in the world. And if you click on it, you can resize them. Um, let's just drag that out of the way. And then you, you just grab hold of them and you can, it's literally drop, drop and drag, a drag and drop. So, um, oops. And they're looking a bit small. I can make them bigger. Uh, there we go. And I'll just put them where I want them. There we go and then just click uh, lock, I've locked it, and that's it, that's how you world build. You start from scratch, and then eventually you can have, you know, um, Japanese gardens and spaceships and whatever takes your fancy, whatever's available uh, in the kits, and there are loads of kits. If I go to, um, oops, if I go to kits, there are, I think it's about 11 pages of them, yeah. And you've, you've got all sorts of things. So you've got buildings, uh, all these kinds of buildings. You can have apartments. Um, so, you know, everything's built for you. So if I want a building here, um, there it is. And you just, um, oh, hello, I've lost my ability to, oh, I've got rotation lock on for some reason. Uh, there we go. There's a building. Now it's a bit small at the moment. So what you do is you drag it out there. And then if you when, you, when you highlight it, it shows up here in the list, see the, the blue ring around the, uh, the label. If you could click on the cogwheel, if I scale it to one, if I type one in there, there we go, and then confirm, boom, there we go, the building goes to life size. And then I can just drag it and drop it wherever I want it. There we go, that looks about right. Um, and then you unclick it and then you lock it and that's it. And then you've got a building and uh, this is how you build a world. Obviously this building is not going to stay here. It's just here as a sample. But um, if I, it's highlighted, I just 
click the cross and it's gone. Uh, so let's just lock all. So yeah, that's how world building occurs. And it, obviously it takes time, but it's very, very relaxing. So um, I'm going to end this video here. I hope, Tom, that was explained a little bit. I, I know I'm terrible at explaining things. I use a, a hundred words where somebody more articulate can use 10. Um, but I hope that sort of gives you a, a better idea of uh, what I was talking about in the last video, which was like piping through my live streams into virtual worlds. Yes, this is a, an app that is available on a lot of the virtual reality systems. It is also available like a kind of a game that you can download on your PC. So you can see all this in 2D on your computer, um, but you just see it obviously on your monitor rather than being actually inside the world. Um, but, uh, but there we go. So that is my little video uh, for Tom. And uh, I hope you found it interesting. Do feel free to leave your comments. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.